Okay, I think we're good. I think we're set. I think we're, I think we're moving now. Welcome back to the other world, Supernova Part 8. Today we're going to go back to Roseway, the other place on the planet, right? Where Roseway, the Roseway, Roseway. Yeah. Roseway I had to make sure I was right about what the planet was called. That's why I went and checked. Yeah, we're going to Roseway. We're going to do some quests there, because we didn't do them all when we were actually playing the game last time. I have some drinks, actually. The alcohol won't affect me right now. Oh wait, you actually see in heart. Okay, they did update the game the other day, and I just noticed something. You actually see how much you need to drink and eat when you're in the menu, rather than having the like. Now you can actually like actually check the effects of everything as you do it. I think I will bring companions right now because I don't feel like they're going to be too big of an issue. I don't think they'll be too um hard to keep alive. If it becomes an issue of any sorts, I'm going to straight up, um, not use companions this episode. Greg Olson won't play versus Seahawks. I'm aware of that one. Thank you, though. Oh, that was loud. Why is that so loud? Okay. Weird. Also just realized my TV volume, monitor volume, was up a little bit, so hopefully none of the uh, things I wanted to upload from Overwatch the other day were echoing. If not, then they are definitely not usable content anymore. That's definitely exciting, Kappa. Um, what else was there to do on this planet? We're going to go get a cigarette case, right? Let's go get a cigarette case. Let's go get the cigarette case. The all-important cigarette case. I guess we can't go this way at all. I figured there's like a Skyrim door. I just don't- I fucking didn't want to go around, but apparently I have to go around. Anyways, yeah, today we'll play some Roseway missions. That's something that I think uh, would be fi fine to do. Keep leveling, keep getting stronger. Feels like it sometimes, doesn't it, Felix? I think I was just out of reach of that, thank God. Moving forward. Just trying to get better and more agile. That's good. Out of range? No, right? Usually they turn red when they're in range. I mean, there's no way this range isn't that far, right? 
they're definitely in range now, so I'm just high apparently. Are these actually enemies right now? I don't remember actually. I feel like they're supposed to be, right? Overkill those are. I'm gonna get an achievement for that soon. Jesus. A little dead as shit now, so. Get bypass shun. Give me that shit. Thank you. Alright, this should be the pen over here, I think. Yep. I don't think I can heal Felix quicker. Although I think their regen is genuinely faster than mine, even on hardcore. It's way quicker, I think. From what I've genuinely just, like, sat there noticing. It seems like it takes actually oh, forever for like you, uh... Dawn, though. You know that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I got my lockpicks back, basically, except for one, for now. Didn't seem like there's much useful in that. What am I doing on parts? Hundred and I can still use some parts, like never have too many really, so I just realized I'm using a fifty seven, I have a fifty three. I was supposed to upgrade that, I forgot to upgrade that. So what level is this? Five. The level is this. Six. One handed one handed. Ah, so it has upgrades. Oh, I don't want to use it on that slot. But now it's like, wait, why would it do that? That doesn't make any sense. A 
upgraded a bit. It cost me a couple bucks to get a way up. Alright, we're good. Got the case, we can run over to her and give it back to her, get some extra XP and stuff. Just spent $5,000 on making my weapons better again, but... They're they're owning chat, hey, to be Alan, honest. Like they're absolutely dominating. You realize the board was crushing the life out of this colony. What are you talking about? I'm talking about the board? The machine of oppression? Ain't that why you became a pirate? Because you wanted to be free and all? I'm just after a paycheck, kid. <laughs> Seriously, don't get yourself killed. It's a nice cigarette case, but it's still just a cigarette case. Um... You're shitting me. You ain't so bad. Here's something for the trouble. They're a huge pack of assholes. Nah, nah, I love them. Probably. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, fair enough, dude. Whatever makes you happy. So wait, where are the weapon plans? I don't think I ever got those. That's something I was missing from that quest. Let's go finish that part of that quest. I never did get those semantics. Oh, Chad, I genuinely like this game way better on Hardcore. I, was had, I, found, uh, I really wanted to get the let, other Let's Play done to play it on Hardcore, so, I mean... Did I ever get this key? Wait, wait, yeah, we tried to do this, but I don't think I ever got the key. Let's go see if I have the key now. If I don't, then, uh, I'll have to look at where to get it. I'll try to remember. Jesus Christ, that was really full of stuff. Hopefully I can kill these guys. Right, actually. I'm actually 100% confident I can kill them. And once you have okay stuff, combat in this game gets so sleeper. I say that, and then there's sometimes when you run into an enemy that's redonkulously powerful compared to you, and you're like, oh. That's what's confusing about it. Sometimes it's a good thing, too. The difficulty is everywhere. Sometimes it's a good thing, in a way. It does feel survival like. Like, if you were genuinely trying to survive as a character like this, sometimes enemies would be just completely useless compared to you, and you'd, you'd dispatch them instantly, and then some of them would be like, oh shit, that was a challenge. Fallout's better for that, I think, when it comes to random enemies being too hard. Although, Fallout 76 is really bad at that. Every enemy is overpowered or completely gets one shot. Like, and by overpowered, I mean way too overpowered. Like that boss from that vault that they tried to release and call it a dungeon. That for, like, this DLC. Holy shit, that was embarrassing by Fallout. Holy crap, that was embarrassing. I've never seen a more sad excuse for content. It's right, not bitch about Fallout all day. I love that game, but it's just trash. <laughs> like, 76 is just trash. But anyway, we're not going to do that all day. Because right? if I do, then I'll never stop. I'll never shut up about it. So. I could probably raise that, couldn't I? I remember coming in here and clearing this out. Or most of it, at least. Right, because the semantics are down here. 
I also swear there was something else I needed from this area, wasn't it? Yeah, 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 I need this thing. Is that not in the same building? Acid sweeper. It's in here, right. How can I raise my... Mind attributes? Could I even get them high enough? I don't know if I can. They only go up by like four, don't they? I'm gonna try it anyways, but... I'm looking for mind attributes. Why can't you sort this to mind attributes then? You know what I mean? Got nimble fingers, Captain. Holy shit, this is an ammo room, too. I didn't realize that. Clearly an armory of some kind. Like a pseudo one for scientists. Nobody in this damn town knows how to clean up after them. Jackasses and... I did not notice you there, Mr. Mechanical Guardian Mark II. There's more of them, isn't there? Well, those aren't what they used to be. If they were, I was probably dead there. So there's some... I think it's trying to tell me they're under me, right? Because it's like pointing downwards. Let's go quickly look around for them. No? Is it just point downwards anyways? So how this game works enemies-wise? I've never actually looked into that. I could have swore they're above. Like there's an upstairs for this, isn't there? I'm gonna look really quickly. It's not really in the other world. I just want to kill them for XP. That's literally it. Where did I find the stairs last time? Ha. Huh. Oh man, right through a fucking Felix, eh? Easy enough. Really, something in there. Let me grab that quick. All 
Alright, I think that's uh, everything for this area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can head out. What was the other thing? I need to grab those schematics. Apparently it has something to do with Orson anyway, so... Still way too hot to drink. I've had that for 40 minutes and it's still too hot to drink. Oh, chat room. This episode comes out tomorrow. So the timestamp's the date. It's the 13th. It'll come out on the 14th. Tonight should be an Overwatch video, I think. I think tonight's an Overwatch video. I'll have to look. I don't even have anything scheduled. I have to go create it. So, like it could even end up being this because <laughs> I don't feel like creating an Overwatch one. Wouldn't that be funny? It'd be typical me, wouldn't it? Oh, I say that. I don't usually go off my schedule unless I absolutely have zero fucking choice. Finally figured out how to set my channel at a channel level to not be for kids. By the way, they had to like actually add a setting for that, like because some people couldn't do it. That was one. Of like some devices didn't work. They never stood a chance. Prepare all my equipped armor and weapons quickly. No need to let them be deteriorating for no reason. Oh, to Roseway we go. Probably for one of the last times on this Let's Play. I know I'll have to come back at one point, depending on who I give the schematics to, actually, that really depends. I think I am going to give them to them, though. I don't really see why not, to be honest. I did it. I gave everyone out. See, on the last Let's Play, I think I gave all the fucking research except the gun back. I have no clue why that was what my logic was. Maybe it was generally because I didn't like that guy. I think that's what I said. I think I didn't like this guy very much because he didn't fucking talk to me. Like, just speak to me. That was kind of the whole idea, probably, like, from the developer standpoint, to make him, like, hard to get the weapon from. Because the weapon is fun to use. Like, I did end up going back and getting it, like, in a different version. If I recall, I just straight up didn't like this guy. Oh, hello. Uh, why do you seem familiar? Have we met? Ah, yes. Very good. And have you done that? What a relief. You hold months of work in your hands. Anton would have just given them to Porter without a second thought. What a waste of potential that would have been. Hmm. Sadly true. Contraband does tend to fetch a high price among the colony's ne'er-do-wells. So be it. I'll buy them off of you. Much obliged. Here are your bids. Now. Let's see here. Attach this, twist that, apply a little pressure, and... I did all that for 100 bits. Never mind, I might as well just give them to him. finally call this little side project complete. Thank the law. Oh. Hmm. I can't be caught with this. You take it. If R&D buys the schematics from me, perhaps I'll get you the first model. Hot off the presses. I'll, uh... Call you? Yes, I'll call you. Huh. Okay. Call me daddy. <laughs> um, this goes up by five, and I think this goes up by five. That's literally what I do this level. Right. Second tier perks. I actually have access to these now. I don't know if I want one yet. Movement penalty to accuracy. So I can move while shooting. 
I actually might take that. <laughs> TDD per kill. That's really good, too, actually. Uh, that actually might be what I take. For now, that's what I'm going to actually, like... Extra weak shot damage. Also really good. Intractable highlight range? No, that's... Who would they actually do that? I mean, it is really... I mean, if you could have, like, every perk in this game, like, if you decided just to, like, mod it or something, or... I don't even know if you could have every perk if you... Because you'd have three or no... 20, 18 perks, and then... 20, maybe? How many is it? It's every other level, right? So 15 perks, for sure. And then if you took every flaw... But how many flaws is there in, like... that? You'd have to actively seek them out. So I don't know. I don't think you could have every perk in this game. Unless you modded it. I don't know. That's probably somehow possible, but... Yeah, if you modded it, then you could, of course. And then... That would be useful, because you... But, like, of all the perks you could take, I don't know why you'd take that one. Basically. Again, also that, like, why? Like, yeah, I think for now we're taking Grim Reaper Sprint, or the Reaper as they call it in this game. It's just, just Grim Reaper Sprint, whatever. From Fallout, literally. That's exactly what it is in every way, shape, or form. I won't tell. See, I lost some rep with them, and then I gained it back, so, I mean, the most likely scenario is I genuinely netted some. All this is just steal is stealing, but they're not upset about it. They're, they don't they don't know it's me, so I guess I'm just gonna steal this all, and then peace out. He doesn't seem to notice that I'm stealing, right? Wait. Oh, he doesn't give a fuck. The guards would. He doesn't care. Unless something with this is his. Watch well, one of these things. Doing? Oh my god. He cared about that apple. Why'd he care about the apple? Alright, fine. I'll stop stealing now. Yeah, he straight up didn't care about anything until I took that apple. He was like, I do I What do you mean, man? Hey, wow, how dare you do that? Where's my reputation right to Cleo? 21% negative. My god, damn. That'll go down to, like, 15 or less soon. I don't really care how Anticleo feels about me, to be freaking fair, to be honest. They're not that useful, if I recall, at least. They're not that useful of all the uh, factions when it comes to what you can get out of them. I think I'm done here. I'm like, that's why I'm not actually leaving yet. I'm thinking. Right. Right, so I report. I, uh, I I can just go turn this in and say that like nothing was happening. I don't know what Gladys would even say. She'd probably be like, "Bro, you're a liar." Clearly, something was happening. And I'd be like, "I don't know, man. I found a different buyer." Sorry. Um, because of that. Let's go back to the ship and deal with a couple things on the ship, a couple things on the groundbreaker, and see what kind of progress we make as we do that. This might be a slightly shorter episode. I don't know. I'm not done any time soon, but... I'm going to deal with all these things and see what time we have left, see what kind of like like quests we could do, and... We'll see, chat. We're winging it at this point, though. My plan was to do this planet, and then I ran out of it. <laughs> so. Currently, smile, we're uh, winging it. Just straight up winging it. Lol. Please, would you kindly inform the crew that long chats with Ada are not required every time the captain leaves the ship? Okay. I mean, that's totally fair. I wouldn't want to get talked to all day either. Destination reached. The ground I'm the person that talks to me all day has been. Could I have a moment of your time? Yes, you can't right. be ruminating again. Guilty as charged. What's occupying your thoughts? I've been thinking on that. There's a former associate. Uh, infamous philosopher scholar who fled Terra 2 some years ago. He's an expert on Bakonu. He's also who told me of the journal's presence in Emerald Vale. 
If anyone in this colony could translate that book, it would be him. Sorry, I'm actually like literally on stream right now. Oh wait, no. I don't have a spoon in my room anymore. <laughs> yeah, I used to have a spoon in my room, by the way. I was literally just using it to stir my coffee or my hot chocolate when it was like settling so I could like re flavor it a little bit. Turns out I don't have said spoon anymore, so you know. That's a good question. We should start on the Groundbreaker. It's where I'd go if I wanted to get off Terra 2. Great place to pick up a ride to Hephaestus, Scylla, even Monarch. Okay, well, that's why you're talking to me, I guess. To a data cartridge from the security terminal. Their easily hackable system keeps a registry of all crew manifests for both arrivals and departures. I'll comb the last six months of departure manifest to track the philosophist's off-world destination. Sure. Thank you, Captain. We shouldn't be in much of the way of fight, so I can definitely take Vicar and Pavardi with me for the sake of taking them with me. I don't know. Just take them with me when I go, I guess. But Pavardi. Oh. Anyways, um... Back up to forty-five hundred dollars, even though I just spent forty-five to four, five, like five k flat. Again, I could probably buy that thing from Gladys if I really wanted to soon, despite despite grinding a little longer. But I don't, I don't want to do that. Just the money is what it is. Oh yeah, the ultimatum. I don't want to use that yet. Oh well, you know what? I guess I could bring it with me in case I do get in a fight of some kind, right? I should do that. I should bring some of the like science weapons with me on when I'm on the groundbreaker and stuff in case I find like a, a rat to kill with it or something. Some of them are good and some of them are just useless, so. Whose inventory is half this stuff in, by the way, you know? Uh, what I wanted to do is this. Get rid of, for now, the shotgun. I'm just going to use it. I'm just going to put it in my inventory. I'm not going to get rid of it. I'm going to use it later. Put, uh, pistol. Nope. Yep. Take every weapon I'm not using, except for the shotgun. Because I might as well carry it, so I don't forget it. Somehow I'd forget it. Just telling you, chat. Just be a perfectly flank. Frank? Flank. This thing shoots and, like, deflects off walls, right? I love that. What a fun little weapon it is. Uh, any other silence weapons I haven't used yet? I forget if I even have any other of them right now. I have a couple special ones, but they're not science. You know, like a raptor prod, a silencer. I don't think anything else here is like entertaining. Officer spine that's like use like a, a special version of it. That's all for now. Um, we're on groundbreaker. Yeah, let's leave. I was thinking, what are we doing? Here. Leaving. Oh, uh, we want these two. Ha, 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 ha. Just a little joke for you. B fucking Ada, bro. Um, I don't know what else we can do today besides this. We'll, we'll finish all these little, 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 little things up, and then uh. I'm not sure what else we can do today. I should have auto-saved it. I, I, it saves by itself, so I guess it's not a big deal. But I should have saved. Because uh, I don't remember how... I don't even know how Gladys will react if I tell her I didn't get shit done for her, to be honest. But I went and checked it out and said it was useless. Like, she won't even pay me. She'll probably just be like, oh, thanks for going, I guess. Or she'll give me like 100 bits for gas or something. Like, <laughs> I'm probably going to have to lie to her and be like, oh, uh, they're all dead. <laughs> Or something, I don't know. I don't know, my lie should be good enough for all that, if I have to. Just to get something out of it, kind of thing. We'll increase my mind attributes right before I go in, just in case. I mean, that's the whole point of having them, it. so... Security. I can check the departures registry to find out which crew ch- I mean, the scholar shipped in and out with. Yeah, I'll get to it. Let's have some sugar, chat. Just because I like sugar.
Have you had a moment to look into that little opportunity I told you about on Roseway? You don't hurry up. Someone will get to snooping around there before you do. What's that? Speak up now. What'd you turn up? If you say so. What's that? What you... Well, that's just... Just swell, sweetheart. Good for you. A shame you didn't visit old Gladys first. That would have fetched a good price. I may have thrown in a batch of my famous sugar cookies just to sweeten the deal. If Auntie Cleo's exporting wraps from Monarch, golly me, someone's going to be in the soup when they get caught. Bless your slippery little fingers. Isn't that just a shame? Prototype schematics go for a fair handful of bits around here. Darnation. It sounded like a gold mine, but maybe that's just my old hopes getting in the way. I suppose it can't be helped. Law bless you for doing the legwork, sweetie. Don't forget your pal Gladys now. You can come visit any time. Any time, sweetheart. You know where to find me. Here, take a candy with you. Oh, thank you for the candy. <gasps> yes, you so cute, so. So nice, I should say. I don't know why I called her cute. That's a little bit of an interesting set. <laughs> I think I have to buy some schematics from her, right? Yeah, wait, that's what I'm supposed to do in a minute here. Then where's armor rating? Yeah, I'm supposed to buy the schematics from her for the new guns. If you're here for this week's match, I've got a lovely little throw pill. We know what you got. Thanks, though. What was I doing? Yeah, I wanted those two things. Because they're worth something. Alright, so now we have science weapons to take. Where's the Groundbreaker science weapon? Also, why do I have to talk to Gladys again? I don't need a 10,000 bit key, bro. And I, there's bounties, isn't there? I can go collect on bounties. Let's go do that, maybe, actually. Apple Thinking. So the Groundbreaker weapon's just, just over there, isn't it? But I have to, like... Thinking I actually remember how to get there, never mind. Without having to have, like... A specific way to do it. Well, well, well. What fine treasures might await us in here? On you. I won't. <laughs> Canyons are so beautifully over the top in this game. Now I don't say this lightly, but. That is a work of sheer universal beauty. Okay, well, well, we did all that for now. I don't want to go collect the other weapons right now. What I actually want to do... So I want to do that. Like, I want to at least, you know, grab that while I'm here. Ah! <gasps> 
I just stole. And nobody cared because nobody noticed, because nobody's here to notice. Interesting. Hold it right there. Alright, I'm sorry. What do you think you're doing? I don't want any trouble out I lost groundbreaker reputation, probably like one point. Yeah, I'm now 67. Do I have the key for this? Yes. Oop. Why would I still that? What? That's gotta be useful for something I've never noticed before. Not so fast. What right, 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 right. do you think you're doing? I don't want any trouble out of you. Alright, repeatedly getting caught by guards has made you jittery. Doubly so when roaming around restricted areas or sneaking. I lose one personality attribute. But isn't that, like, not terrible, actually? Because then it wouldn't... I could just boost it, or just invest in them more. We're gonna try them out, some of them. Wait, wait. Could I just take that? <laughs> like... Um... I'm not going to do that, but I could just counter it by taking that, like... It was only one point, so like, if everything's 50, now it's 49, I just reboost it to 50. It really isn't the end of the world. It doesn't feel like it to me. I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but... I want to be able to AD strafe in combat a lot. I don't know if I want to take that yet. Hmm. We'll take armor for now. Oh, so I can just use this to recharge it all the time now. Wait, did I lose more groundbreak reputation? What did I lose that for? Keep your sights up for oh, I didn't, never mind. Where's this terminal I need? Oh, it's in this room right here. Let me quickly run outside and run back in. Now that we have the data cartridge, I can finally find out where that scholar I'm looking for ended up. Successful sneaking. I actually want that because it's for... I do this. Easy. Alright. What else did we want to do? Help Sam. I don't really want to go to Silly yet. Maybe, but not yet. Oh, yeah, and there was. W okay, this is what we'll do to end the episode. I just have to talk to her first. Her? Unless you're here to file an her. incident report or to inquire about the bounty posting, I must kindly ask you to clear out. The Mardet's offices aren't for leisure time, nor loitering. Got a hot one for you. Captain Gunner McRed. Just 26 hours old. Uh, the posting, that is. Not the criminal. <sighs> Allegations include several counts of flying under the influence, carrying open alcoholic containers, Failure to pay docking fees, resisting arrest, and assaulting not one, but two officers. Swerving in the air was more like it. 
Then he crashed hard into the dock and tumbled out of his ship and fled on foot. Spilled Rizzo's Violet Spectrum vodka all over Officer Hartley. An affront of its own, considering none of us are approved for anything higher than Green Spectrum. Last tip we got pointed toward the back bays. You want the reward? Do the legwork. You and about six other enterprising mavericks. It's only a matter of time before someone brings me McRed's head. Or his lucky lighter, as proof of kill. I do hope you're the lucky hunter, though. Good luck and skip speed to you. Uh, Vicar, you're not... Uh, hello? Vicar, Vicar, that's not where you belong right now, my dude. Thank you. That's... what? Yeah. <laughs> uh, solution vital? No, that's not it. We're not going to kill McCreed. And let's actually look quickly. So what does it keep telling me about? Science weapons. I don't really care. They're a codex, to be honest. Um... I'm thinking, chat. Sorry. Everything is currently going down by one, right? Minus six, because paranoid. Minus three, minus three. So it's only minus three, but six. Why is it double for that one? Alright, admittedly... Um, three is more than I expected, but less than I were, like, am worried about, so... I, I thought it was number one, but I guess if all of them are affected by one, is I guess it's three per one. So I guess that makes sense, to be fair. But in general, I'm not worried about... Um, it going down. If it goes down by three, it's it's whatever. I can again I can if uh I'll almost always be over what I need to persuade somebody, and if not then I can I can boost it by like Two or three every time I drink something, so I just counter that by drinking. It is a, it's obviously still a permanent three loss, but I can just per, I can just counter it by drinking something, and just in case we need to drink something for this dialogue check. Neighbor from above, what brings you to my little moonlight kingdom? Listen to the fire of those convictions. This one's hungry for justice, alive or dead, rare or medium. What's it gonna be? How do you want me cooked, bounty hunter? My flame? Shit. Little flick here got me started on the pyro path. Fine. He's yours. Give him a good home. Don't worry, Mr. McGrath. Oh, man. We'll treat Mr. Flick extra nice on account of he's your friend. You call your lighter Little Flick? I'll miss my baby pyro, but it beats losing my head. This court needs its king, and I'm one of a kind. Keen eyes you got there. Sunita gave me this lighter. We had a carnal understanding a few years back, and she wanted me to have something to remember her by. Lay it on me, boss. I'm good for it. You can come and go. Yeah, yeah, I can come and go in your little kingdom. I think you think he thinks I'm okay. He thinks I'm pretty cool. Let's say we didn't need to kill him. I know we didn't need to. Let's see here, what else can we finish up doing here quickly? 
turn that in at least. Probably ending the episode here in a minute, chat. How goes the hunt? I've been ruminating on it, and I decided if you ain't killed McRed yet, I want you to hurt him a little before you do. Nothing excessive, mind you, but the scoundrel deserves a light beating at least before he kicks off. Here's the bounty payout. Nice work down there. With any luck, we can hire more sharp eyed bounty hunters like you in the future. Sick chat, we won. We did it. We're so fucking good at video games. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I think, though, we're done for today because um next episode's when we're gonna go on to Scylla, I think. I'll pick up a bunch of quests there. I'll do most of Scylla. There's not much to do there anyways. It's kind of a filler planet. <sighs> but yeah, we'll find Captain. And then um there's a couple other things we can do on that, um, planet to, like, you know, I can speak English, uh, but there's a couple other things we can do on that planet to get some XP, uh, to level up, to get better, and hopefully get into on Monarch soon. Uh, that's the, that's the goal. After Scylla, if we're high enough, I'm gonna go to Monarch and just start killing things. Uh, you can just fly there, anyway, so it doesn't matter. So, um, just Googling something quick. I think we're done today. I'll do a little more off-screen stuff or, um, sure, who really cares, to be honest. Um, but next time, uh, we'll, uh, we'll go to, uh, Scylla. We'll do as much as we can, and then I think, uh, we'll do, like, an episode or two with Scylla, depending on how long it takes me to do everything there. And try to find... We'll do some companion quests, too. That don't involve Monarch, because most of them do anyways. Uh, but I think Vickers can be done without... Oh, no, he can't. He didn't involve Monarch, too, doesn't he? So, yeah, we'll, we'll do as much as we can until we hit Monarch, just to get as much XP and level and guns and tinker. And then we'll hit Monarch, and we'll just own it. It won't be, it won't be hard at all. Uh, I'll see you guys for that, though.